Hi Scorpio, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for your patience. We're gonna take a look at the past energy, the current energy, the upcoming energy for you. And at the end of the reading, we're gonna pull some card guidance from the universe, okay? Thank you. Let's see what's coming through for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising. Important messages for Scorpio. Thank you. Past energy for Scorpio. two cards when I come through we have the nine of sword and the eggs of wands I feel like for some of you guys you were <laughs> you were leaving or you were trying to get away from a situation that it's a lot of fire in it but there's no foundation you know how like the example that came to is like it could be a situation where you know people just want to have fun nothing serious no commitment no you know it's not about future it's only about this moment right i feel like for some of you guys you leaving that life behind it could you know maybe you like going party partying you like just you know just to have fun and you're like actually i want something different so i feel like past energy was you leaving an own way of doing things or you're leaving something that were not serious because you wanted something else you show up in your past energy yeah is there there was an ending to a situation you you had to walk away you had to close a chapter on this because it's it didn't feel fulfilled Right? This could be a relationship, this could be a job, this could be, you know, your way of doing things, your habits. But there's something that no longer resonates with you. You want something different. The star, healing, a lot of healing. We have the death card, the star, major arcana, right? So, you... Yeah, it's fascinating because I'm, I'm hearing like something that used to resonate with you, you didn't anymore. For example, you could be, um, you could be like a minimalist and you like, to, everyone knows that you're minimalist, you don't buy new stuff, you just keep things, you know, you, you like that kind of energy and now you're like, actually, you know what, I want to get something new. And um, I don't need to put myself in that box anymore that, oh, because I was like this, then it's always going to be that way forever. You allow yourself to grow. You allow, to self, you allow your, yourself to outgrow what you put yourself in, right? For some of you guys, maybe you were like, okay, I didn't really need a relationship. You know, I was okay by myself, super independent. I don't need to rely on someone. And now you're like, actually, I'm at the point where... I don't mind letting people help me. I don't mind, you know, having like throughout myself with people, like my people, some things more serious, you know, like it could be anything. Three of Pentacle. For some of you guys, um, you were, you were leaving behind a situation that there's too many people, people involved in it. This could be a third party situation it doesn't always have to be a love triangle this could be like you know maybe you know there's always everyone have an input everyone have a opinions about things that you wanted to do and i'm like you know what i i think now i don't need to get all the input from other people i can just do it just do it and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, at least I try. Like that's kind of thing that I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, you know, like whatever you used to be doing, you're leaving that behind because I feel like you've done a lot of work, inner work on yourself. You're going through a rebirth. You're different. You've changed. And um, we're not required to be the same person that we always, you know, we, we always have been. You're allowed to change. You're allowed to grow. That part of human, being human, you know. The current energy. 
for some people it could be changing job you know it could be maybe being single of, or meeting someone or or in a relationship and then get out of it like you know what i mean the current energy we have the six of cup i love this for you guys because six of cup is about memories it's about what you used to love to do when you were younger this is you nurturing your inner child because you know life can get a bit hectic can get a bit heavy or complicated it's sometimes it happens right and if we don't find time to nurture that in the, the inner child or to bring some joy to our life it can get really difficult to get through stuff so for some of you guys you could be making some time priority priority joy priority time even if five minutes a day where you just you know maybe you're watching your favorite show that you used to watch when you were younger or reading some you know some books that like wow like you love you used to love reading just you know something that entertaining not just like oh i i need to do research this is have to be to do with work this have to be to do with money then and anything else i i can't afford to but it's more of like instead of try to like do so many stuff and be productive like the most productive thing you can do is prioritize rest and prioritize play you know um nurturing in a shower i said before this is beautiful this could be painting painting dancing you know it could be so many things right because everyone's gonna be different and then we have the devil card yeah there's something unhealthy there's something that um have a really strong hold on you this could be how you look at yourself this could be addiction right some sort of addiction that you try to get away from uh, to, to heal because i feel like for some of you guys this is going back to your childhood going back to when when this belief about myself started it why whatever this devil energy is this could be addiction this could be um you feel like you were not enough and you have to do more and more and you have to you know however you try to cope with life when things start to become a bit too much we can ask ourselves when did when all of this coping mechanism started what is the root cause of it because you know it could be like some people have a uh, trouble drinking a lot right the example that came through it could be drinking a lot to try to cope with life and they're realizing oh growing up they see people around them drinking you know to try to cope with things so they see it as okay i had to do that or you know that's kind of thing i'm seeing but i feel like going back to nurturing your inner child to say that they are enough it's it gonna help you feeling enough it's gonna help you feeling more at ease you know the um, the healing is about coming back home to ourselves to feel more whole complete and um, you feel at home within then we don't really need something outside of us to try to fill that void because we are doing that we give it back to ourselves right the nine of cup for some of you guys you seeing that some offer some connection it's just not healthy for you like you know the the nail club it can be someone who like oh you know sweet talk right really really romantic but they are not helping you heal because i'm i'm hearing like give one more one last card and two oh my god there's a lot of card come up let's get one more card because i feel like for some of you guys it's um the world card yeah you, you're gonna be done with whatever this devil energy is for some of you guys i'm just feeling like something that been feeling really familiar this feels familiar for me but is it good for you right you know it could be a like um, a connection that you have in your life that keep pulling you back to like maybe drinking a lot or smoking a lot or it's or a lot of drama and um you're like actually i'm done with all of that i'm done with all of that um negative unhealthy energy because when we work on ourselves 
we no longer attracting those kind of situation to our life or those kind of people we don't resonating with that anymore you know there's no a part of us that oh I, I think i still need it to feel familiar if you feel familiar because it is the same chaotic energy growing up but now you're like i don't need that anymore you know upcoming energy like for some of you guys if you grow up in a really everyone around you have anxiety and that's all you know so now you're like okay i don't have to be in that state anymore i don't have to live my life from now on in that state i can break this cycle i can change this pattern and yeah you're done with that you complete that cycle already upcoming energy we have the knight of pentacle yes it takes time every change takes time but just know that you are going you're moving forward you know of sword yeah you're moving forward you know going backward yet yeah, sometimes we might get like um, a, a flashback or we feel like you know i'm not making enough progress or why it's still coming up it was still coming up because it took you a very many many years to get up to have all that pattern ingrained in you of course it's gonna take you time and even it come up you have the awareness of like oh i'm not gonna go back to that anymore right you're not gonna go back back and forth energy you're not gonna be like oh um you growing out of that own way of doing things i feel like you have a new sense of self like identity that you give yourself maybe in the past you were like oh that's all i knew but now you know better you do better you know you no longer give the uh, give yourself into the situation that it's draining you the final messages guidance from the universe or our beautiful scorpio what messages come through for some of you guys I feel like in the future you're gonna be moving to somewhere you could be traveling you could be making a move small step at a time i feel like taking time taking step by step toward what you're working toward too because i feel like you are definitely moving on you definitely move on to something bigger bigger better yeah the universe said yes you will get there you will whatever it is that you're working toward it could be working toward your health goal with what your finance goal it working toward having more inner peace and not being in my head letting go of all the addiction anything that you attach yourself to that holding you back you're letting all go and the universe said the step that you take the work that you do on yourself you will see a result you know maybe even maybe people around you might not see it or they're not doing the work but just know that it doesn't go to waste you know sometimes it's like the saying that you know when we celebrating people's success when we don't see the behind the scene how much energy and effort put into it so just know that you put a lot of energy and effort into it and you deserve this you know this success whatever that is to you you know success can be in having an inner peace having a peace of mind l liking who you are feeling comfortable in your own skin and um yeah it's it's gonna feel uncomfortable it's gonna feel difficult because you're rewinding your brain you rewind the nervous system to be in a new state but this is more of like you're gonna be in an, an expansive state where you're welcoming abundance, when you're welcoming healthy relationship, when you're welcoming, you know, reward, financial abundance, and, and inner freedom, you know, that's the kind of thing that I'm seeing, okay? Anyway, guys, thank you so much again for your love and support. I'll talk to you soon. Love a light. Bye.